Hello everyone, it's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything, and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. The current anime, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s, has certainly been a polarizing show from the moment it was announced at Jump Festa back in December of 2019. While you guys are aware that I am really enjoying the show, as I cover it on this channel weekly and do a dedicated podcast live stream to it every week, there is another side of Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s in the fandom where this show was not either really given much of a chance or a lot of people just decided that it was not going to be for them and so over the past few months I have been talking to people going on forums and compiling a list of seven reasons why I believe some people are skipping Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. In no way is this meant to be a hate video of any kind. I'm going to try and remain as objective as possible and without further ado, let's begin. I hope you guys enjoy. Number one, the art style. One of the first things you look at when a show gets announced or when you are choosing which show to watch is the style which that show is in. The Yu-Gi-Oh! anime has had a very distinct style from Duel Monsters all the way until Vrains, and so it was a bit of a shock when Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s looked more like a generic card game anime rather than a Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, especially when you had been used to a certain style for the last two decades. The art style is something that I know immediately turned a lot of people off. Animation can go hand in hand with this. I see this cited as a massive reason why a lot of people never really started watching the show because it looked so unappealing and it just didn't look like a Yu-Gi-Oh to them. And while some people may argue that it still feels like a Yu-Gi-Oh, the style in which a show is made and created is very important in attracting an audience, and the phrase, don't judge a book by its cover, only goes a certain way. A show, especially one like Yu-Gi-Oh, which has had a set style for two decades, needs to have a certain flair and look to it in order to get certain people invested. And so the art style and animation change was certainly a pretty big reason as to why some people decided to not watch Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. Number two, accessibility. The accessibility of Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens has certainly been pretty poor up until this point. Coming off of Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains, which had a simulcast on Crunchyroll, a lot of fans were hoping that Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens would get the same treatment, and there would be an official and legal way to watch the episode subbed. However, through 62 episodes, no such legal way exists. An English dub of the show does not exist, and we have to rely on fan subs like we did before Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains in order to watch the episodes. Big shout out to Entime Subs and their team. I'll link their Tumblr down below as they took over the subbing process near the end of the first arc around episode 10 or 11 and have been very consistent and very efficient with subbing the show. Without the Entime Subs team, it's actually kind of scary to think where the subbing of Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens would be. Who knows if we would even have subbed episodes to watch. Accessibility has certainly been a turnoff for a lot of people. I've seen a lot of people say they are waiting for an English dub or they are waiting for the show to come on a legal site before they watch it. Accessibility has certainly been an issue for some people and a reason as to why they are not watching Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s. Number three, the comedic focus. It's no secret that Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens is the most comedy-based Yu-Gi-Oh! anime so far in the show. And while that might be appealing for some people, especially a younger target audience, which is what this show is ultimately catered to, some older fans that have grown with the Yu-Gi-Oh! shows might not really be interested in a Yu-Gi-Oh! show that has comedy as a primary element. Sure, comedy has always been an element used in Yu-Gi-Oh! I think of GX, I think of early Zexel, but I don't think it has ever been this much much of an emphasis and this much of a primary theme as it has been in Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. Some people are not really into comedies, some people want more serious and tense moments like we got throughout 5Ds and even parts of pretty much all of the other shows. And while I would argue that there are still serious moments in Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens, the amount of serious moments and tension is definitely less than it has been in the prior Yu-Gi-Ohs. And so if you are not really into the whole comedy theme or aspect, then that is a major turnoff for you when it comes to this series. Number four, not focused on the TCG and OCG. Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens is the first entry that is not focused on the Master Duel format. 
Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters all the way through Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains was focused on Master Duels, and as characters debuted new cards, duelists in the real world could look forward to those cards potentially being printed, and those decks potentially being very good. I look at the previous show like Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains, where there were so many decks that were meta in the main OCG and TCG. Trickstars, Altergeists, Gokies, just to name a few. And so it was very exciting to see a duelist who used those cards actually duel using those decks because you wanted to see what new cards were going to come out that could potentially change the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! I've seen a lot of people over the years say that the only reason they watch the anime is because of the card game, and if it was not for the card game promotion, they probably would not be watching the anime. Another way to phrase that is they don't watch the anime for the story, but rather for the new cards that would be showing up in the game. Well, since Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s is not focused on the main way to play Yu-Gi-Oh!, that reasoning for watching the anime completely goes away, and so when Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s switched to a new style of dueling, any persons who was just watching the series and the shows for the card game aspect no longer had any interest or reason to watch the show, and so that is another big reason why some people are choosing to skip 7s. Number 5, a general growth away from Yu-Gi-Oh! This is probably the first reason on the list that I believe can be applied to any Yu-Gi-Oh! series. And this basically just means we all grow, and as we grow, our tastes change. There's some people who have not watched Yu-Gi-Oh! in 10 years that see a show like Sevens and end up loving it because it's fresh and it's new, and it's more in the style of media that they like to consume. However, there's also a lot of people who watched Zexal, Arc 5, and Vrains, and just aren't really into Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens anymore because they just kind of grew out of the franchise. That's not to say that Sevens was the turning point for them, but that's just to say that whatever the seventh show was going to be, they were not going to enjoy it because Yu-Gi-Oh! was no longer a primary focus in their life and they want to move on to other things and other pieces of media. I think this happens in every single show and you just look at when Arc 5 started. If you were 18 years old when Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 started, you are 24 when Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 started. I know my 24-year-old self was much different than my 18-year-old self. If you look back at when Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal started, you're going from age 15 to age 24, or age 17 to age 26. That is a long time, and over those years, your interests change, and so I think a general pull away from the franchise is also a reason that needs to be cited for this video. Number six, not enjoying rush duels. So this could kind of tie in with the fourth one on this list, but I do think there's enough difference between the fourth reason and the sixth reason. Even though Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens is not focused on the main game, it is still focused on a Yu-Gi-Oh! card game, and that is rush duels. There are a decent amount of people who do not like rush duels, and moreover, do not like the way that they play out on screen. I've seen a lot of people say that the duels feel very repetitive, they they feel very boring, and they just don't like the way that Rush Duels play in an anime, and maybe even in the real world. And so if you're not enjoying the massive portion of Yu-Gi-Oh!, which is the Yu-Gi-Oh! card game itself, when it comes to an anime, that is going to be a reason why you're probably not going to watch it. If you did not enjoy Link Summoning and you didn't enjoy Links, you probably weren't going to watch Vrains either. So not enjoying Rush Duels and, and not enjoying that style of dueling in an anime is a big reason why some people are also choosing to skip Sevens. Number seven, lacking legitimate villains slash threats early on. A lot of people will say the three episode rule or the five episode rule, and while I don't know if that should apply to a series like Yu-Gi-Oh!, which usually ends up having over a hundred episodes, there were a lot of people that gave Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens a chance and just didn't really get hooked to it. And I will say, the show in the early stages does lack a lot of legitimate villains and a lot of legitimate threats. And a lot of the quote-unquote villain characters and threatening characters that show up early on are redeemed very quickly and are even on Yuga's side, sometimes within four or five episodes of their first duel. Roa was not really an evil character by any means, and while it seemed like Nail could have been, he wasn't, and he was basically Yuga's friend 
four episodes after he hit him with the maximum, and Asana, kind of the same boat as them, was not really a true threat. The show has definitely improved on that with characters like Yuo. Yuo has been a character that I think this show has desperately needed, but Yuo doesn't really get started until the mid-50s, and at that point, a lot of people who are looking for villains, who maybe watch media to see villains and to see threats, have kind of parted the ship by that point in the show. And so I think the lack of legitimate villains early on is definitely a reason why people who maybe started Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s ended up dropping it in the early stages. And guys, that wraps it up. Seven reasons why people are skipping sevens. Now, I could have made this video for any Yu-Gi-Oh! series, but I feel like this is something I really wanted to look at because sevens has been the most polarizing Yu-Gi-Oh! show since Zexel, and so I thought it would have been kind of fun to list out all of the reasons why I believe people are choosing not to watch this show. Now, in no way does this video imply viewership has been bad or the show has been doing poorly. There's really no way to tell how the show has been performing. We know Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duels is selling well in Japan, and we know the Nico Nico ratings have been really good, much better than Arc 5 and better than Vrains. And so a portion of the audience in Asian countries, because those are usually the users that vote on Nico Nico, are really enjoying the series, but that doesn't factor in how many people are actually watching or any metric like that. And so it's just really hard to tell how the show is actually doing. I think there definitely is less people watching it here in the West for all of these reasons. Accessibility, art style, not focused on the main game. And I'm just basing that based off the amount of people that I know are watching it compared to the previous two shows. But that's just my opinion on it. And I am very interested to see what the future of Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s is and what the future of this franchise is. So guys, please let me know all your thoughts down below. If you're watching Sevens and you're caught up, let me know if you agree with this list or let me know if you think I am completely wrong and maybe I did not pin down why people are maybe passing on Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. And if you're not watching Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens, let me know if it was one of these reasons or maybe a mixture of these reasons. And please keep things civil. I don't like to make videos like this because I feel like the comments can kind of be a dumpster fire, but I trust you guys will all behave and be respectful of each other's opinions, whether you're watching Sevens or whether you are not watching Sevens. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and a special thank you to my Platinum Tier Patrons, Horace May, Goosey Q, Panther J, Blue Maiden 28, and Jared Bueller, and to my Diamond Tier Patrons, Jesse Wood and Latrell Smith. Thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon and who is a YouTube channel member. There are some really cool perks associated with being a patron of mine or being a YouTube channel member. I definitely encourage you to check them out. And to everyone that has supported me through those means, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I stream on Twitch, I'm on Twitter, and I'm on Instagram. Links for all those will be down below. Once again, thank you for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day. Take care, guys.